Hey pups, Arby here, and I'm a writer. Well, sort of. I mostly write fan fictions just for the fun of it. Though I may or may not look into writing children's stories and or novels one day. The reason why I said this is because today's video is some tips on writing stories, fan fictions, etc. Let's begin, shall we? Step 1. Ask questions before writing. What genre do you like to write and or read about? What do you want to write about? These are the questions you should ask yourself before writing any type of story, really. Like, for instance, I like creepypastas and anime, so I write about that. And sometimes. Step 2. Gather inspiration. Whether you're watching a movie or show, reading a book, listening to music, anything, get inspired by anything and everything. A little side note for the future. Use a what-if scenario if you're having trouble finding that spark of inspiration. Step 3. Practice and improve. When it comes to writing, even for the first time, no one is perfect. Take some writing classes and look up some tutorials online. Practice describing people, animals, landscapes, and things. Focus on writing the story in a fascinating way. Be grammatically correct and check for spelling errors. And above all, write from the heart. Step 4. Development. Development is the most important thing in a particular point in writing. The main things in a story are dialogue, body language, emotion, movement, characters, relationships, plots and subplots, background, and suspense. For dialogue, pick up words that others use to add their speech, and listen to the way that people greet each other. For movements, expressions, and body language, everyone expresses emotions differently. Take anger, for example. He stormed away in a huff, slamming the door. She formed her hand into a fist, and yelled in rage as she punched the wall as hard as she could, creating a hole in the wall. Study how characters and people express their emotions. For relationships, a major flaw in any and all relationships, friendly or romantic, is that they move way too quickly. Take the time to have the relationships between characters slowly develop. Let them get to know each other, start as friends, and level up slowly from there. Think of it as leveling up a Pokemon and training it to evolve. It takes time, but you'll get there. For plot and subplot, they are the two most important things for writing. A few examples of these would be Sailor Moon. While being a normal girl, Yusagi or Serena, depending on what anime you watch or prefer, goes to school and all that, and becomes Sailor Moon to save the Earth from the forces of evil, while having a few random adventures. Persona 4 is about Yunara Kami and his friends using personas to fight shadows in a TV world called the Midnight Channel, while making the best of their youthful school life. Steven Universe is about the crystal gems protecting the Earth from the threats of Homeworld, all while Steven is learning more about gems, Homeworld, and having fun and interesting adventures throughout the show. Take some of these examples and create your own while adding one or two subplots. A quick little side note, do your best to avoid cliches. Some examples would be it was all a dream, amnesia, bullying just because, damsel in distress, love triangle, the chosen one, etc. For background, try not to use too much or too little of a background with the characters and stories. An entire intro of a person's life is boring and unnecessary, unless it's important to the plot of the story. And finally, for suspense, it's like a blood flow of storyline, movie, or show. Stories with chapters that don't end in suspense should end with a feeling of it. These things should put readers on the edge, wondering and asking what will happen next. It keeps the readers guessing. And now, with all that said and done, fan art time! Today's fan art is by Raz of Lucario. This looks adorable and I love it. It looks so cute. As always, links are in the description below, so feel free to check them out. This is our peer reminding you to stay awesome, stay strong, and stay beautiful.